So there are many different videos and, and ways to inject your testosterone for your testosterone therapy. This is my way. Maybe it'll help you. Um, what I do is I put, I start off with an 18 gauge tip, which is, you know, you can fasten it to your syringe. The 18 gauge is thick. It's not, it would be painful to inject with this, but it makes it much easier to withdraw the uh, fluid from the, uh, from the uh, container here. So first thing I do, I inject this big thick one in here and there's a little window you can see between the labels so you can watch uh, yourself filling up your syringe. Now, here we go. I'm currently in the process of doing an experiment with my doctor. So I, instead of doing this every two weeks, I'm doing half every week. And I suspect we're going to increase that after my blood work next week. There. Now, once that's in there, I go ahead and get the air out. And not all the air, but most of it. Put the cap back on, D discard this, and then I go to the uh, 23 gauge, which is the one I'm going to use to inject. Much thinner and no pain. Connect that. I rotate one week, or depending on your, your uh, regimen, if it's every other week, one injection is the right, and the next one is the left, and then I just rotate. And I just push until I see a little teeny drop pop up on the top. There it is. And then I'm ready to inject. So I basically look for a nice spot on my thigh here, make it nice and tight. And bam, in I go. I do a little bit of a pull back to make sure no blood's coming out, which, you know, is not going to happen, but it's just a habit. It's good to check. I inject, and just to be safe, I always do this with a hanky because one time I hit a little capillary or something and looked like a murder scene in here. And then I basically rub it around, you know, so that I'm not going to lose it on the injection site. I already have my bandage pre-positioned. Not that you really, you know, it's not, it shouldn't be bleeding all over the place, but things do happen. And then I cover it up, push it around, and I only have to wear the bandage for about an hour or so, and you're good to go. Uh, I hope that helps, and yeah, let me know if that helped you.